Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to use the widescreen uh, uh, fix for the Need for Speed series and for many other games by 13AG um, on the Steam Deck. Um, it's actually way easier than you would think. Uh, I'm honestly surprised when I found out in some YouTube video in the comment section how it worked. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show it to you guys, so let's get right into it. <clears throat> so the first thing uh, you will need is um, a full installation of Need for Speed or like the game you want. Uh, in my case I'm just gonna take Need for Speed Underground. Um, the thing is you can't really obtain them legal anymore except if you buy like a used copy and rip it on your PC. Um, so just look it up in the in on the internet I'm pretty sure you can find a copy there. Um, what is pretty important here though is you have to install the game or you rip or like download uh, the game as it's installed like in this format because you can't really install games on the Steam Deck. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do so um, but for this purpose uh, and for convenience sake we're just gonna um, use the already installed game. So here's what you're gonna do. You have your game folder here and you're gonna go to uh, as I said, I'm gonna use this as an example for Underground. So you're just gonna go to Underground here and go to Direct Link. Let it download and you open it up. And uh, all you're gonna do is you put these two files into the folder. I already have them in there, but I'm gonna replace them regardless. Once you replace, uh, once you put them in there, you go into the Scripts folder. You go into the Need for Speed Underground widescreen fix .ini. Um, if it doesn't show up like this, you just uh, right click uh, and open it with Notepad. In my case, it's already opening with uh, opening up with Notepad. And for here, you're gonna enter the Steam Deck resolution, which is 1280 by 800. And uh, for convenience sake, I'm just gonna say improve game uh, gamepad support for the X input gamepad, and I'm gonna use the Xbox icons since. Those are basically the same as Steam Deck. Um, yeah, there's also like uh, fixes and dead zones, intro skip. Um, uh, yeah, um, it's really up to you. Um, there's also, if you uh, prefer the default FOV or HUD, you can set that. But for my case, I'm just gonna change the resolution and I'm gonna put the game gamepad support. Um, actually. <coughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, that's about it. So once you enter the numbers, make sure to save it, close it down. So in my case, I'm using AnyDesk. Um, you can also just uh, get a USB stick and transfer it that way. However, uh, I found that AnyDesk is way more convenient. Um, so in my case, I'm just gonna go to uh, the file transfer thingy. Um, I totally legally downloaded uh, Linux ISOs. Probably gonna censor this part here. <laughs> so, and that's the underground folder, and I'm just gonna upload it. Um, like I said, AnyDesk uh, is kinda it's kinda slow um, for network transfer. Um, I used different stuff in the past, however I just thought AnyDesk is a bit more convenient since I can also control the screen of the Steam Deck at the same time. But yeah, I'll skip until it's done. Alright, so we are done. Um, we're gonna switch to the Steam Deck screen. Uh, wake it up. So, <coughs> in my case, AnyDesk puts the files into the home folder. And it should be somewhere here. There we go. That's my game folder. I'm just gonna copy it to my... to the folder where I have my other games, just for convenience sake. <coughs> Paste it here. Alright. So what you're gonna do, uh, going to do now is you're gonna open up Steam in desktop mode. Then you're gonna add a uh, non Steam game. Gonna go to browse, and then you're just gonna go to your uh, game folder, which in my case is home slash deck. Should be desktop games. Um, wait, yeah, there we go. Underground 1, and now be sure to set file type to all files. And then you just select speed.exe. Uh, and you go to add selected programs. Now you scroll down your library and you run.
right click your speed exe. This is uh, optional by the way, but <laughs> I'm gonna do it since it looks kind of ugly if it's just like that. Um, need for speed underground. Uh, I'm actually also able to just add like um, a logo and a background so it looks a bit nicer. I'm pretty sure there's better ways to do this. Um, I don't even know if I have the underground one. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, put this here. And right click the backgrounds. Uh, go to the folder again, cover art. This is completely optional by the way, just saying. Like you can skip this part if you want to. There we go, looks a bit nicer. Um, pretty sure in game mode it looks a bit more scuffed. Again, but there's ways to fix that. It's me from the future here, I forgot one important step and that's before you go into game modes um, you will have to go to your shortcut <coughs> which you created you have to right click it, uh, go into properties and then you go to into compatibility you enable for the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool uh, by the time you, you're you watching this it could be a new version up top uh, it doesn't really matter, just pick uh, the one that works in my case 7.0-4 is works fine so yeah after you've uh, set up the shortcut uh, you, go, you go into game modes and I'm gonna show you guys my Steam Deck once I booted in once you're booted back into the um, Steam OS game game mode thingy. Uh, what you're gonna do is go to um, library. <coughs> gonna go to non Steam. Should boot up now, just fine. There you go, as you can see, it's booting up. However, as you can already tell here, it's uh, 4x3. Go to settings again, and you're gonna go to properties. Uh, you're gonna go to compatibility. No, actually, you're gonna go to shortcut. My bad. And then you're gonna put launch options. And you're gonna put something in, which I'm gonna put in the description below. Uh, it's a string. I'm just gonna put it in, and then I'll be right back. I forgot a letter there. Now I can just go back and click on play. No, it should put up in native resolution. There we go. Let's try to get into the game, see if it actually works. Just the video again so we can have higher FPS. <coughs> yeah, um, even the cutscenes are uh, native resolution now, so yeah. Enjoy the games, hope I could help you out. Um, by the way, this works for any other um, games that use uh, the input. 8.dll file to modify the game. I've uh, read in the comments that it works for GTA, um, for like some test drive unlimited mods. Um, yeah, basically this is a mod loader, and uh, with the D input 8 uh, getting actually picked up by Proton, you can install all sorts of mods and improvements for especially the Need for Speed games. Like there's mo way much more stuff than the widescreen fix. Um, yeah. If you guys have any problems, you can leave your problem in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.